What's up everyone? I'm gonna be releasing some source code for Java. I coded this on my Android application. Um, oh my god, device. And uh, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, the source code, and how to use it, and what exactly it does. Um, but first, before we do that, we're going to be using. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without uh, while it's opened up. Okay, so what this is, just a simple Android script resolver. Um, I made one in Delphi, but this one is in Java, and this is just to explain um, how to code something in Java, very simple, and for other people, and just a simple source code that I have really never seen online. So we're going to just use this, we're going to um, type in my Skype name, yes, it is my IP address, who cares, like dude, it's an IP address. Okay, so there's, um, that's basically what it does, it just uses a web view to grab the IP address and puts it within the the web view client so hold on we are going to come over here all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain the xml the xml is the gui um and it just allows me to declare the actual like look of the ui um so this is the first one is an edit box it has a hint text for that so once you click there it disappears the the blue button is a button this is a web view um which is we're going to be using to grab the api i mean the ip and these right here that you see are actual progress bars and the bottom thing is a label for just my name okay um so now we're going to go back and i'm going to show you that um i have an id declared here um i have an id declared here for the button I have an ID in my web view and then two progress bars have an ID um, so that I can use them within the thread I mean the the main activity of Java um so these re the top things are here besides the package the package is the name of your application so this would be what you Actually, this is the name of your application when you search it. And I just don't worry about this. Um, all right, so um, these are imports. So these are your your libraries which you can utilize um, their actual functions by just importing them within the the program coding and. Um, these two are public vars so that I can call them through the entire thread and not have and in other classes um, we can go here I call a bunch of finals um, for web views and I call them by their IDs so that I can use their actual I can actually call something within the XML file <coughs> and it's all very it's all labeled out very well an on-click listener for button one basically what it does is it allows um, when you click a button in Java it has to know if it was clicked this just listens for the click and then if it's clicked it then calls it on the on-click event and it does what you want um, this is simply what it does it once once it's clicked it loads the URL it puts these two visible and it makes a, a notification on your screen and a, a short notification and it says request send. Um, everything is quite uh, quite labeled out uh, and I'm just going to be releasing the source code so um, yeah that's about it um, and this is going to be that and then uh, other than that, that if you need any help coding wise you can just feel free um, Yep, okay, bye-bye.